Prozy Rosie said, what would you do if you were in office? Like, what do you mean? Like, in what office? Um, I, <laughs> that's a very tough question. Uh, I would have to sit down and think about that very, very significantly because uh, I don't know. If I was in office all of a sudden, if I became the, the emperor of the known universe, uh, that's a pretty tough decision. I don't know. I, I, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a, like a fantasy situation for me, right? Like, I don't know. I, I don't imagine, I don't believe that I will ever be able to hold office. Uh, and not, nor is it something that I seek. You know what I mean? That's not my way of moving in the world. Uh, I think that the structure of, of institutional politics tends to bind people. Uh, it, it, people who seek out office by necessity have to continue to shore off more of what they actually believe and the vision that they actually want because the institutions are designed for people to slot into a machine that, that continues certain things. I don't know. I don't believe that if suddenly I, I gained office, like, I don't know, if people, a bunch of people wrote me in for a position and I had a position, I would, I guess I would do whatever I could. Uh, and that's the only answer anybody has, right? Uh, if I became president tomorrow, uh, the first thing that I would do is uh, write um, as many executive orders uh, in favor of uh, the little guy as possible, okay? I would be writing executive orders, uh, government stipends immediately out to uh, all trans people in the country, um, government stipends. Um, out to um, any any like all, every single public clinic and healthcare provider in the country, uh, I would immediately outlaw uh, insurance companies. Uh, that would be an easy one, easy peasy. All of them go out and under. And uh, the faster that I could do that, the better. Uh, that way, that they couldn't recover from their stocks crashing, uh, even if they assassinated me, which they probably would. Um, Let's see. Yeah, poverty line raised so that everyone, like basically everyone is. I would uh, immediately dissolve the U.S. Mint. I would dissolve the fe uh, the Federal Reserve, um, and uh, I would uh, pass. I would uh, by executive order. I would dissolve all patents on uh, on medicine. They have it. Oh, I'd fire all of the. Um, I would fire every single uh, federal employee on the border. Ah, I would change the, uh, the I would change the national federal uh, bird from the bald eagle to the black capped chickadee. Um, let's see. I would change the capital of the country uh, uh, to be in Maine. No, I would fire the entire CIA immediately. No, actually, I have a better goal. What I would I would order half of the CIA to kill the other half of the CIA and the other half of the CIA to kill the other half of the CIA and whoever won would be awarded with the uh, rulership of the new CIA and in reality that would actually just be um, a, a trick and whoever lived would just immediately get dropped into a big fire pit. Yeah, CIA, the CIA, yeah. And, and the reason why I know it would work, by the way, is because one thing that CIA, the like, the CIA psychological profile, they're all been programmed to love promotions. So the I, they, they would sit there and they go, ooh, ooh, I, I, we should all be working together to take down this obvious threat to our existence. But I love the idea of a promotion. So then they would, they would listen. They would, they would be tempted. And enough of them would kill each other that it would work out in the end. Let's see what else. Any other interesting changes that I would make if I became president tomorrow? Um, ban all cars and mandate rail, rail travel for everyone? Hmm. Hmm. Banning cars. Uh, I mean, banning cars seems like it wouldn't really work. What I could do, I know what I could do, though. I could pass a, um, I could amend the tax code such that cars have an abundantly high tax 
and uh, so that you can write like 300% of all of your, um, all of your like public transit costs off on your uh, taxes. So um, yeah, so t cars would become unbelievably expensive and uh, you would be able to make money from the government by going, by supporting public transit. That'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> yes. First of first says convert USD to mama coin. There would be one mama coin and I would have it. And everyone, the way that you get, the way that you like, that we budget from there on out would be people get a little shaving of the one mama coin. It's like, I, they have to come into my office and I go, Shh, and they're like, oh, thank you. Oh, oh, we've already got dissenters, I see. Silver Tarot 25 says, so put a high tax on rural people who have no access to public transit and need a car to get groceries, go to work, to go to the hospital, Dungeon! 10,000 years dungeon! 10,000 years in the dungeon! Executive order! Silver Tarot 25 goes in the dungeon for 10,000 years! Treason! Can't believe it. People offer me, people ask me what I would do with ultimate power and immediately start griping. Do you not understand? You gave me ultimate power. The emperor of the known universe is what you assigned me to be. Have you abolished prisons yet? Hmm. I've changed my position on prison abolition because I can no longer abolish prisons. I'll let everyone currently in prison out, but then I have to maintain prisons in order to put people who annoy me in YouTube chat into them. The drama frogs get their own wing, but the drama frog's wing would just be one of those spike traps from Oblivion. So you won't decriminalize all drugs? No, I'll do one better. I'll subsidize all drugs. All drugs are subsidized. What about bail? We won't need bail because the only people that will be in prison are people that I that I say go to prison. So like they won't get bail. They won't need bail because they're they're not getting out unless I decide. So, you know. Yoda gets to be the presidential pet. No, even better. Uh Yoda Yoda gets to be, be like 50% of the cabinet roles will go to Yoda. Celestial art time. I'll do one even more. Um, all of the food in America goes to Native American, to the Native American reserves first, and then they get to distribute it out to the rest of America. So basically Native Americans all across the country will get to decide who gets food and who doesn't get food. Just that's the rules. Um, and I have a feeling that a lot of people will a lot of people will be more open to redrawing those boundaries, re renegotiating those treaties in favor of uh, in favor of the Native Americans. Once that's the case, position granted. Nasty. Yes, it would be incredible. <sighs> what about the millipedes? Hmm. Hmm. Gayfesh, I'll make you in charge of the Ministry of Cinema. Well, I was going to say only only if you ensure that all of the that all any person 
related to the creation of the MCU in like a leadership or executive role. Like actors are fine. The people who worked on the sets are fine. But all of the like executives, you have to make sure that all of them uh, work in coal mines for the rest of existence, for the rest of time. And Captain America's name has to be changed to Captain Mama. Okay, well, James Gunn, we can negotiate on, okay? I'll let that... James Gunn can get preferential treatment because he does other decent movies, but... But he's... Maybe he has to work in a coal mine for one day. Yes, you will, of course. Steel Griffin, you personally will get free HRT, transition care, and a comfortable UBI. Um, uh, trans surgeries will get preference in all hospitals always so it doesn't matter okay uh if you are if you are like a plastic surgeon you have to do the ffs and all of that before anything else before you can work on anything else and if there's wait times for everybody else well that just means we need to get more doctors then you're gonna have to do more doctors you know Zoe Soft says, is that a tank top with buckles? It's actually a dress, believe it or not. Woo, woo. It's pretty awesome. I love it. Holy mackerel is mandatory viewing in all schools. True! No, in fact, uh, C-SPAN will be replaced with holy mackerel reruns. So, like, if you tune in to C-SPAN, it'll just be holy mackerel all the time. Oh, another thing too is that uh, it will be mandatory. All uh, all cis people in the country who aren't cool with trans people. So if what we'll do is we'll pass a law where we'll subpoena everybody's social media history, and if you are mean to or transphobic or whatever, then um, you'll have to be subject to uh, the same level of like doubt and interrogation and distrust that trans people have been. So they'll, they'll have to do like a real life test uh, where you have to try living as the opposite gender first. Um, and we won't believe you if you're cis. We'll be like, are you sure? That doesn't seem likely. Um, have you tried correcting your testosterone and or estrogen? Hmm, it'll have to be two years and you need to be, you, you'll have to use opposite pronouns, names, clothes, etc. That's how it'll be, cisvestigation. Oh, you're fine then. Everyone who's cool with trans people is is a okay. You're you're clear. Holy mackerel has been fully archived. As far as um as far as the rights, I'm still working on the letter. I was exactly that in my anti SJW phase. If it's been a long, we're not, we're not, we're not insane. If you've converted since then, you're fine, okay. But if it's like you know, yeah. You know, you you just be cool. If you convert, you're safe. I haven't. I'm inside your walls. I haven't actually. And think about it like this. You know what I mean? There's not any harm. People might get mad at me and say, oh, you're doing revenge. This is just a revenge fantasy for trans people, Demon Mama. But think about it like this. If you're cis, you'll just go back to being cis after you go through the hormone therapy and you have to dress oppositely to how you do now. And you might discover that you're trans, which is very useful, which wouldn't we want to, d to minimize that harm, right? Yes, Mr. Krabs, you'll be the head of the Department of Sonic Affairs. But that means that's a big responsibility because that means you got to keep the weird Sonic fans in check. 
Okay, I'll check that out. Thanks, I'm inside your walls. Anyway, if this agenda sounds appealing to you, vote Demon Mama in 2024. And forever. Always vote Demon Mama. We, we could bring back the stocks for crypto guys, Elon Musk, and prank YouTubers. Actually, it will just become law that prank YouTubers can only interact with crypto guys and Elon Musk. So they'll basically live on a preserve where people will do, do safaris. So like, um, we'll take like, say, a chunk of the state of Wyoming and all of the crypto guys plus Elon Musk and all of his simps and the prank YouTubers will have to live in there. And what we'll do is we'll empower the prank YouTubers, right? So because if if the prank YouTubers are disempowered, well, then they'll all find solidarity together and they'll resist their um, their enclosure. But if we give the prank YouTubers the power to basically, you know, they get like a budget to buy cameras and prank stuff. They can go do, you know, they can go do kissing pranks on Elon Musk fans. They can do whatever they want, you know. Can we get fast food with food stamps? Of course. In fact, fast food companies will be required to give out free food if you say that you don't want to pay. Like if you walk into a fast food place, like McDonald's or whatever, the employees all are going to be paid so the employees will have no reason to fuck with you whatsoever. If you walk into there and you say, I'm hungry and I don't have the money with me to pay right now, they have to give you food. Because it only cost them like two cents to serve that slop anyway. What political party would you run as? The Demoniac Party. There we have it. Bam. Bam. Done. Done. Bam. Oh yeah, and um, if anybody brought any, um, if any, if anybody brought anything to my attention that wasn't interesting, I would simply reply to them. I'd have a button on my desk, and I would just say, "Looking into it." <laughs> Tarpalicious says, I do think we should make the president wear a sash like mayors used to. Are you comfortable with this? No. However, I will pass a law that says all mayors have to have a curly little white mustache and a sash and a funny hat and they have to carry around a key that they give to people when they think they did a good job. Yes, even if they're women. Yes, of course. Haven't you ever just wanted to win the key to the city? Haven't you ever wanted to get that? I have. I've always thought it would be cool to get the key to the city. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, man. Somebody should give me the key to the city. If you're the mayor of a small town somewhere in the United States or elsewhere, I'll come visit your country. Um, you know, and you want to officially do a ceremony where you give me the key to your city for all of the good that I've done to the world, which is a lot. I've made a lot of people laugh. And as they say, you know, laughter extends your life. So I've actually made people live longer with my wonderful videos. So I feel like I've done some good. I've definitely done better than other people who've gotten the key to the city. Was, what is President Demon Mama's punishment for Matt Walsh? Uh, Matt Walsh will, has to be, he has to be like cast in wax and then made into one of his own plushies. So like that's that's his future. He gets to be one of his like weird, creepy, sweet baby adult baby plushies. He will all of the other ones will be destroyed, and he will be the last one. So he'll be stuffed and displayed, and that's that's his that's his fate. Brianna Huffman says, "You and seriously, what the heck is that? Why did Matt Walsh make that thinking was a good idea?" Oh, um, for those who don't know, Matt Walsh used to do meetups with his fans that were called the Sweet Baby Crew, I think, Sweet Baby or Sweet Baby Crew or something along those lines. And they used to mud wrestle in diapers. It's where that image of the Sweet Baby Gang, it's um, it's where, uh, in fact, one of the, there's a really viral picture of a, of a Matt Walsh meetup where two, two guys are fighting in diapers in the mud and one of them has a swastika tattoo. I'm not lying, that's real. Were they not as employees? They might have been as employees. I thought it was a fan meetup, but it might have been as employees. Wasn't a fan meetup. Okay, my bad. Sorry for spreading misinformation. It's my presidential right to spread misinformation about Matt Walsh. <laughs> what happens to Lord of Patriarchy, aka Dave's Cooking? Uh, Dave's Cooking gets uh, Rachel Ray's 
TV, uh, like uh, HGTV slot or whatever channel she's on now. 